This is actually Heads Up Warriors. And we have a pilot on with us who's going to blow the whistle for us on the things that are being done to the pilots. And he's got a lot of other information I can tell. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. So um, with that, I'm going to introduce Dennis Schwelke. Dennis, how are you? Oh, I'm doing very good. I, I've been doing what's called 135 unscheduled on-demand charter type work uh, throughout all the United States, Canada, the Caribbean, and Mexico. And I just completed uh, a flight to Honolulu, Hawaii. Here, just uh, that was my last flight uh, with the company. I, I just uh, within the last about ten days, I was I received a intercompany email. And the email basically was outlined from the the chief pilot in our organization, and it stated that there were some new requirements that had to be met regarding TSA, you know, Homeland Security type things, regarding security risk assessment. And it simply stated that uh, as action is required, complete the information, the additional information that's required of me so I could continue on with being a pilot and being a, an employee of this company. And lo and behold, the first thing that comes up is basically a consent form. New requirement from TSA that says that I agree to give up a whole boatload of constitutional rights in regarding security risk assessments as a United States American commercial pilot. And I am guessing that every pilot had to sign this? No, not yet. I, I only found one other pilot yet uh, in our organization that had uh, received this email, and I asked that pilot, did you really read it? And, no, I just went ahead and signed it. And I said, you didn't read it and you didn't understand it. Just, well, no, I just need my job. So I was... <sighs> I'm, I'm really shocked at that that whole overall response, and I'm going. How many other pilots are doing the same thing all over this country? I want to I want to read so that this is be recorded, and for everyone to hear this. Okay. Says quote, and I quote: "Please carefully read the statement again and reconsider your decision. One of the conditions of employment at Coletta Charters." is being enrolled in, that is, 12-5 standard security program. If you elect not to agree slash participate, we will unfortunately have to make January 14, 2014, your last day of employment with Coletta Charters, end quote. This is where this starts tonight. This is the first talk radio show that we've been on or going on to get this out. And the faster that this can get out, the more we can get pilots to call me. I would love to be the, the chairperson as one to head uh, such a movement in that direction. And I was told by AOPA the last couple of days that I'm, uh, to their knowledge, I'm the first American pilot that has stood up and said, nope, I'm not signing that. I'm the first American pilot to be fired as a result of this. Um, Dennis, I want you to share with the listeners what you know about those empty flights coming back. Exactly. It was just a little over a year ago, a Tennessee state representative by the name of Rick Walmack is also a commercial pilot for one of the major uh, passenger-carrying airlines, and he does the international flights, and he blew me out of the water when he stood up at the Baptist Donor, a Cornerstone Church in Madison, Tennessee, and he talked about he is a commercial pilot when he leaves the United States to fly citizens and so forth over to Europe, and then when the airplane is empty, they turn around and come back, and no other... Europeans were allowed to fly back, or Americans. The airplane was scheduled to be stark empty, and what happened? They loaded that aircraft 
rock solid full with every seat filled of illegal Muslims and flew it back to the East Coast of the United States where he said he was instructed to land and they taxied right past immigration and those people were literally let off and escorted off the airplane and they were given thousands of dollars in their pockets and they had all and he was naming off all kinds of other benefits and he was informing this whole audience of several thousand people that he is the pilot in command was doing this not once but multiple times and i felt like i i felt like standing up and saying excuse me mr walmack did you say you were the pilot and pilot in command and do you not understand that you have the final say for each and every flight before that aircraft ever starts up and you're you're telling me that you are flying illegal undocumented immigrants or illegal immigrants to this nation and you are applying your hands to the throttle and you are an accomplice to that and you're not saying no I'm not doing it fire me first and suggest to all of the other pilots in your airline capacity that they do the same instead said you as a Tennessee state representative find some jolly and standing up to everyone announcing what is going on? It's like, why do you, I felt like saying, why do you even run for a state representative? Because anyone else in any other capacity can voice their opinion or statements about what's going on. But as a state representative, he ought to be doing something about it. And as a commercial pilot, you have the final say on whether or not a flight goes. He had the authority and the power. But the bottom line he obviously did not want to lose his job. And he found it obviously more important to just be an informant as a state representative. I was absolutely sickened, like Terry sensed it. I was sickened that a fellow pilot didn't have the gall to say, no, I am not flying these people back. Not a one of them have any IDs. That literally, when you know that uh, a federal offense is being committed, there are Title 18 and Title 42 rules and codes that says if you, if you especially participate in it, that makes him accomplice. And a Tennessee state representative announced that to thousands of people. For sure. You know, I just got a little, little piece of news in. Obama just paved the way for 30,000 Syrian Islamists to resettle in the U.S. Well, he's been sneaking them in on those planes all this time. <laughs> now he's just being more blatant about it. Now we find out it's not just our, our geographical borders that are wide open. Our skies are, too. We've been invaded big time. Yeah. While yeah. we sleep. And that's Literally. why I'm saying you you prayer warriors better get up now. I mean really, truly, get up. Start praying night and day, night and day. Don't quit. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching and God bless you.